Now everybody knows about these uh, Chrysler 2.7 liters. How they always have these huge problems with with water pumps and timing chains and how they're always known to, to blowing prematurely, let's say like maybe 160,000 kilometers. Well, here's another one, <laughs> as they always do, um, except this one. Um, the owner was selling it, uh, claiming that it had a cracked engine block. And I had a hard time believing that. I mean, these being aluminum blocks, it is possible. But, uh, you know, I was thinking that the water pumps would probably be what uh, would fail first. So anyways, the guy uh, was selling this car for $300. Well, actually $500. I talked him down. And uh, I got an extremely good deal on a safety vehicle. And uh, the car actually still runs beautifully. Except it has a major coolant leak. And, uh, you know, the car would overheat. So, I unbolted the air conditioning. The alternator is now on the ground. As well as the mounting brackets for them. And now I gain access to... Well, he says the engine block was cracked. Ow! Nearby the thermostat, which is what you see, whoops, right there. With that little elbow right there. It's made of plastic. And I can't exactly get in there but right below it there's a little weep hole kind of by that bolt there and that's where the water pump leaks when it goes bad since the water pump is internal in these engines so the mechanic that the guy took the car to um, pressure tested it and the cooling system of course didn't hold pressure and he diagnosed it as an, a cracked engine block and that is not the case it's just a bad water pump that has a bad uh, shaft seal which is now leaking so coolant now gets in the oil as well as dumps out that weep hole like crazy which means you can't go far before your engine overheats so now I've got a car for $300 it needs about $300 in parts to fix so right now it's not leaking because it leaked all the fluid out. So, I'm going to look under the cap. There's not really much in there. And, uh, it's almost empty. So what I'm going to do right now, actually, is I'm going to fill it up a little bit with coolant. And then I'm just going to watch it all piss out. Hopefully out of that weep hole. Because... Well, I'm pretty sure that's what the problem is. Here's the interior in absolutely beautiful shape. Doors closed perfectly. That's the only little bit of rust and it actually looks worse because the car is dirty. And it's actually just bubbling. It's all surface. And that can actually easily be buffed out. So, as well as in the door too, but I'm gonna fix that. Nice clean door panels. Sorry about all the sun. And here's what I came in here for, if I can freaking reach it. Oh shit, it's frozen. There's no coolant in there. Fuck. Okay, well, guess I gotta grab some coolant then, never mind. And again, here's the driver's side. The car also comes with a four disc CD changer. Beautiful car. This time it actually has the aluminum rims, or aluminum coated looking rims, I don't know what they are. They probably could be steel, but. Gotta love Chrysler for making garbage engines. Well, I guess I don't have coolant to fill up, hold on. Okay, now I've got my coolant. <clears throat> it's not actually the right kind, it's actually supposed to be long life stuff, but I'm just gonna, Fill it up and uh, hope she leaks out a little bit. I'm going to be flushing this cooling system, anyways. All right. Now let's go down here. Okay, right away it starts leaking. Let's see where it's coming from. All 
Um, okay, now it's hard to see, but just right behind that bolt, that plastic shield, right up against it there, is the weep hole for the water pump. And if I could get the camera light, I could get the light in here. Fuck! There. And that's the weep hole that the water pump is now leaking out of because I just filled it up. And now it's pissing. This car doesn't have any cracked block. That's the culprit right there. So, it is a pain in the ass because you do have to take off the intake, the valve cover, um, coil, coil packs and all the spark plugs, that top part off, your alternator, your air conditioning compressor, your dampener, your crankshaft, the belt for your power steering, this this cover here, and the motor mount, and the timing chain, timing chain tensioners, and your water pump will be roughly up in there. So it's under this cover. It is very time consuming and one of the hardest cars to do a water pump on and Chrysler is very much hated for that design because so many people don't know when their water pump is bad. Just like this case, they thought it was a thermostat. Well, the thermostat was just replaced, but they mistaken it for the water pump. Luckily this motor is still good because you see lots of Sebrings and Intrepids that have the same motor but they're knocking. So, if I replace this water pump, I'll be good for another 100,000 kilometers. Sweet. Now I gotta wait till I get paid next week, and I'll order myself a new water pump. I'm gonna begin tearing down this motor now. Okay, we're now uh, getting this water pump out, so we're just uh, beginning to take the top of the motor apart, and we've now taken off the, uh, I've taken off the uh, intake, or sorry, the, um, Air cleaner box and air cleaner, and also the the uh, the big fancy intake system on the top here. So then you got the holes where the intake seal. 